What's your color? I wanna know. Oh, oh, oh. What's your color? I wanna know. Oh, oh, oh. What's your color? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Caitlin. Next Friday is Valentine's Day and somehow I feel like there are lots of standards and samples on social media of how girls should look and what makeup girls should put on, especially during special holidays and festivals. Being brought up in Hong Kong, lived in Seoul, where it's the capital of Asian beauty, and in recent years resided in Europe, the differences of the beauty cultures have surrounded me. The makeup styles, particularly the skin tone's preference. In Europe, tanning is a culture. Oppositely in Asia, paper white is the most gorgeous. So today, I created two typical beauty stand looks from the West and East respectively to remind you, no matter what color you are, you are you and you do not need to meet certain kind of criteria to be beautiful. I worked the last summer at the seaside and got really really tanned. This is the foundation that matched my darker skin tone in August last year. I know, it's, I was really dark. I was naturally tanned to this shade without any tanning products. As a yellow skin tone, even though my skin has higher sunburned endurance, I still constantly applied sunblock to protect my skin from the radiation. Back then, everyone around appreciated how tanned I became and said I looked so healthy and pretty. It was a weird compliment. I mean, I'm still me. I didn't undergo plastic surgery or drastically change my facial features. Was I not healthy before I got tanned? Healthy should be a lifestyle standard, physical health standards rather than appearance standard, right? Yet, lots of them have very, very light skin tone and skin type that got burned really easily, got tanned really difficultly. They did not care if the skin started to peel off, did not give a damn if they looked redder than apples after being exposed under the sun for hours. And started more popularly, self tanning products became one of the most advertised products on lots of beauty gurus' channels. This is unhealthy. I have no mean to stop anyone from pursuing their preferred skin tone, but honestly, just saying the word preferred skin tone happened to be one of the weirdest, isn't it? In Europe, lots of people die to be tanned. Meanwhile, in Asia, we spend our whole lives chasing after whitening products. Frankly, I was extremely shocked to be unable to find any whitening cream when I first came. Instead, I accidentally bought a self tanning body cream, and I didn't even know about that. I just grabbed a bottle of cream, and not after weeks, I found out that my toes were unnaturally dark. I looked into the description of the box, and I found out it was a tanning cream. In Asia, especially in South Korea, both male and female are forced by the social standards of being white. From decades, the traditional concept of dynasty nobles being served by lower classes, when nobles stayed in palaces indoor enjoying and lower classes worked hard and exposed to the sun more. That's how, who have darker skin tone, are classified as lower class and cheap. Even nowadays, since Southeast countries like Philippines, Thailand, and Indonesia export a large amount of lower cost domestic helpers, so called maids, lots of other parts of more developed Asian countries still hold strong into the traditional concept of skin tones, which is very unfortunate. This is 2020. It's like we're living in the future of our childhood. But are we really living in the future that we imagined we developed into? Colors, races, these topics that we talked about back in the 60s, we're still not yet over it. Now, today, in 2020, we shall move on. We're all from the planet Earth. 
were evolved into different facial features, body structures, hair colors, skin tones, and skin types to suit into our born environment. We should celebrate the diversity of our differences. After all, we all still are from planet Earth. So why should one appreciate a skin color, chase after a certain kind of beauty trend, instead of truly appreciate the bodies, our unique bodies that we're born in? That's no criticism if you want to be a little tanner or whiter upon your confidence of your true self. But I hope. No one will no longer feel not beautiful enough to be a little tanner or a little whiter than the others. Thank you for watching this video to the end, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click that subscribe button now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I could be green, or pink, or black, or white. I could be every color you like. I could be red. I could be red, or I could be yellow, I could be blue, or I could be purple, I could be green or pink or black or white, I could be every color you like.